They sure are doing a lot of renovations here. Well, as long as the cafeteria is open. From what Nikki heard, that place where Jed worked, Monstrous Fright and Magic, provided most of the new interactive exhibits here. All right, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. Welcome back to Scooby-Doo Unmasked. I want to oh, oh, thank Wishing that. to Call, I think that's how you say their name, on YouTube for having all the cutscenes of this game because I kind of skipped over it and couldn't get back to it. So, we're back! We're Are in the you, museum now. I'm Fred Jones from Mystery Inc. I'm Professor Stoker. Mystery Inc. Aren't you the monster hunting kids? This is about the caveman, isn't it? He sounds exactly like Fred. Can you tell me more about that caveman? There is no such thing. It is a scientific impossibility. It is a hoax. That's what it is. I see. I see. He sounds exactly like Fred, except Fred went a little higher. Or like a little squeakier or something. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you can't be here. The museum's not open yet. And no dogs allowed. Dog? Where? Dog? Where? Hello, sir. I'm Daphne Blake from Mystery Inc. We're here to help you with your monster troubles. Oh, sorry. I'm Joe Grimm, Chief of Security. Mr. Grimm, when did these strange occurrences start to happen? Uh, about two days ago, I'd say. It's those new exhibits, the dinosaurs and the suits of armors and the, the caveman. The caveman? Caveman? A caveman, you say? Look, I don't know nothing, all right? Just that uh, strange things are going on here. I <laughs> like how everyone just walks away, like, instantly. This is one high-tech interactive museum. You want to be able to tell by looking at it. Like, it looks a little dusty. A caveman? Ridiculous. It might not be Fred, but it sounds like Fred. Oh, we gotta we gotta talk to everyone. And we gotta get this Uber Snacks. Are you the museum's curator? De Nelly Vivante at your service. Oh. I'm Velma Dinkley, and this is Scooby-Doo. Sup. Charmed. We hear you've been having troubles with some of your exhibits. <sighs> Interactive experiences, dear. Some of the robotic characters have gone out of control and scared away most of the workers. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So what's this? <gasps> it's a picture of the caveman. Stomp the presses. We solved the mystery. I mean... I guess we didn't solve the mystery yet. But we solved the mystery. Hey, Scoob. What's up? Scooby-Doo, this is terrible. There's no food in the cafeteria. That is terrible. What? Oh, no. This is awful. We need food. Food. What is that? Oh, that's the food cart. Food! <laughs> Wait, can I just get up there? Oh, I, mm, no. <laughs> Hi, where am I going? That's blocked off. Let's go up steep. Actually, can we look at this right now? Or do we need a token for it? We need a token for it, okay. Okay, okay. Ah, here we go. I don't think there's anyone else to talk. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Locked! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Under C exhibit. That's fun. Why, oh! Hello there, Scooby, old pal. Uh, I'm a dummy. We gotta take it to Velma. We found a picture. We found a clue. Take it to Velma. She'll know what to do. Hi, Scooby. Great, Scooby. You found a clue. This photograph of the caveman seems to have been taken in the dinosaur exhibit. Maybe we can find him there. There we go. <laughs> Told you. Velma always knows what to do, except for the rare occasion that she doesn't, and she does has a little freak out. Otherwise, 
she always knows what to do. <laughs> also, can we just say, like, how everyone in the gang is snatched? Freddy, Velma, Daphne, Shaggy, even Scooby's, like, snatched. Like, do you see their waists? It's a pterodactyl! Oh no! What a- okay, what a dope museum. I take it back. Okay, honestly, I, I get it. <laughs> it's a long- it's long. I- I get it. No. Wow. No. We're just gonna break everything. Doesn't matter. Everything's made out of- what is it called? Larp? Yeah. Get out of here. Well, that thing's rude. Oh, oh, Ow! I pressed the button and nothing happened. <laughs> I swear. Do I have to avoid that? I'll just do a little wiggle wiggle. Oh! There's a bunch of pterodactyls. Oh, oh gosh! What's it doing? Why is it hiding? Is it scared? I'm the one that's scared! They're so stompy. Oh, come on. God, they can take a beating. Stop! There we go. Stop. Wait, what? Oh, no! Okay, two of those. Okay, they're... Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go. No, thank you. Ow! That was rude. Get rude. I can't get all those. But I want the tomato! <laughs> Give me... <laughs> Oh, I almost did it. Okay, how do I get the tomato? Do I go this way? I go this way. I found an apple. Okay, it was an apple. Wait, but what's down there? What's down here? A turtle! Ooh, a bouncy turtle. Nice. Can I break this? Haha, <laughs> missed me. <gasps> I'm so scared I'm gonna miss these jumps. Not dealing with that. <laughs> no! Wait, what did we get? We, we got chips, but did he say spooky chips or Scooby chips? What did we? What did we get? Oh, I'm wasting time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it was 
jumping on my head. Bad. You're rude. Mubber! That's what it's called. Mubber. I always think it's called Flubber, and I think it's because there's a toy that, like, is all, it's like a slime that, if you, like, do it, it makes a little farting noise. You know, it's like in the, it's like in the little plastic tube at, like, Dollar General. <laughs> that stuff. I think that stuff's called Flubber. And this is called Mubber, and it's edible. Wow, the way it just sauntered out. Okay, they're not that scary. Ah! The plants are, though. <laughs> I don't want to deal with those. Ah! Rat! Uh oh. Oh! There's like Scooby Snacks down there. I think this also leads to the Scooby Snack. Okay. <laughs> I'm still not sure how this works. <laughs> okay, we need to get the clue. Yeah. You're not so scary. You're terrifying. Wait. <laughs> well, I got the clue. <laughs> Wait. Wait, so what was the point of taking... I took that way because I thought that was the only way to get the clue. Ooh, more Scooby Snacks. I'm just gonna break all the museum's exhibits. I mean, honestly, nothing is really inside of like glass or anything. So this is the museum's fault. I mean, look how dangerous this space is. Imagine if anyone came here at all. I was gonna say kids, but like, imagine if like a kid or an older person or just like anyone at all came here, they would get very much injured. All these places, someone would get very badly injured. They only sell mubber to places that have, like, eminent lawsuits coming their way. Oh, there's a thing down there. I found a clue! So what's this way? Slide. You get it, scary plant. Rude. Ah, that's why the slide's there. Because if we fall, we're gonna go all the way back down now. I almost fell. Haha! <laughs> this is the top of a volcano. Raggy! Hey Scoob, like what about all these fake volcanoes, huh? These would make some awesome barbecues. Barbecue? Mmm! I'm hungry! Well, guess what I have? Oh, right, a drumstick! Now, wait a minute. I was saving this for a special occasion. <laughs> 
He got snatched. The drumstick. <laughs> Shaggy. No. Throw the drumstick. Oh. This museum has a lot of space. And money. Damn. Try to catch up with Shaggy and the Pterodactyl. Ah, no! Snow? What's this? <gasps> I too am a Pterodactyl. Actually, I'm a bat. Whee! No, don't look up. I need to look forward. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Woo. Can I climb this? No. Wait, why can I come over here then? Okay. What are you doing? Ow. Turtle. That way. And we're off. And we're off again. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, I can't see. <laughs> Question is, do I want to go down here? There's Goofy Snacks. I don't need them. I mean, I could probably use them, but we don't need them. We found a planet. We solved it. Mercury is in retrograde. That's obviously what's happening here. Right? I mean, like, it's obvious, isn't it? I can't see Scoob. <laughs> okay, we're gonna chill here for a second. Okay, we gotta make it all the way over there. Okay, there's a clue up here, so I don't think there's one down there. Yeah. Oh, it's a rake. I thought it was a fish. Rude. I mean, I did come back just to hit you in the face, so I, gu I guess that's fair. Give me a second. Colorful marshmallows. Delicious. Yes, let's go! <laughs> Wait! Do we have to do it this way? Oh, we do. Oh my god, they breathe fire. I gotta go that way. <laughs> that one just got here and got absolutely destroyed. Leave me alone. No! <laughs> wow! <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, third one didn't get hit. <laughs> nope, there, I, I think there's still one back there somewhere. There you go. I like his little 
Game boom completion, 67%. Yeah, boy. We're gonna take a look around the museum, see what we got with all the clues and stuff, and then we'll go to the next episode. That's cool. Oh my god. What you got there, Scooby? Can I see it? Good work. Maybe you guys can check out the medieval room while I investigate the undersea exhibit <laughs> of Daphne. Hey, Scoob. I'll bet you they have some kind of barbecue in there. Oh, boy. A barbecue. Why would the... There's mm. some greasy black fluid on this dinosaur bone. Greasy. Is it oil? This is a replica of the planet Saturn. Named after the Roman god of time. Perhaps this has a hidden symbolic meaning. Saturn's in retrograde. This metal chain may have been used by the caveman to scare away workers. Rattle, rattle. This looks like a broom closet key. Maybe we'll find information about who the caveman is in there. I don't like how the music mixes on these spots. Wow, Professor. This museum must have changed a lot. Not for the better, I'm afraid. This isn't science. It's... It's entertainment. I... I can't stand it. Do you know what that Vivante woman wanted to call this venerable institution? An amuseum. A muse and museum. A museum. Honestly, can you, imagine? you can get more people to show up there if you did do that. That's, uh, catchy. It's idiotic. Okay. The answer to this mystery is somewhere up there. Some greasy black fluid. Now let's see what we have. Have a look at the medieval exhibit while I examine this dinosaur bone. Do you bone. think we could examine the undersea exhibit? Well, it's kind of dangerous. Don't worry. This is what we do for a living. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do the that one next. And we just came back from that one. So we can go up there to get something. Wait, what is this? Do you want to access? Sure. Did we do this before? Ah. Oh, we didn't see that yet. We've seen all them. Look how silly that guy looks. Toughness, very high. Speed, also high. Okay, we don't need to look at all this. We gotta, we, there's, I'm pretty sure we can get the coin. What Scooby-Doo game would you like to see next? I'm gonna ask that in the next episode, too. <laughs> I have, like, all of them. So, like, which one would you like to see? We gotta go that way, but we're gonna head this way first. Robin Hood costume machines are now available in the gift shop. <laughs> mm, we can't get up there, I don't think, to get the lobster. We can do something with that. I say something. We're obviously going to hit it with an arrow. Hex, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> had the hiccups. Hold circle to aim. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, is this where we're supposed to go? Oh, I thought... I thought we were supposed to go somewhere else. I thought... Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I thought that was to get, like, a hidden clue or, like, sandwich piece or something. I didn't 
realize that was for the next level. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a great night, day, whatever's going on for you. Hope it's a good one. I hope to see you for the next episode.